Welcome to Elf Star Press. Okay, what insane habits do you have while working? Example, I talk to myself out loud in a ridiculous French accent throughout the day as if I was live streaming my coding work. Am I the only who's picked up some absolutely unhinged behaviors while working from home? All right, let's see. Shrimp posture. Shrimp. What is shrimp posture? Oh, the shrimp posture. Oh my goodness. The majestic shrimp posture. Well, maintaining good posture can actually improve your mood and energy levels. So maybe it's time to evolve from a shrimp to a seahorse every once in a while. On that note, has anybody successfully fixed and proved this? You can't consciously improve posture by the way you sit stand. You need an appropriate chair and move around during the day between chair, couch, standing, whatever. All right. Monitor stands are great for this. Standing desk. Standing desk doesn't magically fix it. Have you seen how some people stand? A good office chair will. All right. I consume ridiculous amounts of coffee. Of course, why have a blood stream when you can have a coffee stream, right? You are not just consuming coffee. You are ensuring that every cell in your body is awake. Here is a fun fact. Coffee is the world's second largest traded commodity, trailing only behind crude oil. That's right. Your morning ritual is part of a global phenomena, proving that you are not alone in your quest to turn water into wonder. Just remember, water is also a great beverage. It doesn't have caffeine, but it does keep the doctor away, and not just because you are too fast for them to catch. One year ago, I replaced my coffee with tea. My work performance didn't change. Six months ago, I replaced my tea with water. Again, no change in performance. Two months ago, I replaced plain water with enriched water. It has magnesium or vitamin B complex or zinc or collagen or whatever. I started to pee and poop a lot more than ever before. So my performance dropped a bit. TLDR, drink natural beverages. Well, what goes in must come out, but sometimes the basics are what keep you going strong with fewer restroom breaks. Water is the only drink that can quench thrust effectively without any side effects, apart from the need to visit the restroom. A while ago, I cut down to two coffees a day and water in between, and I felt much better in that stint. I currently consume way too much, and it's detrimental to my work. I think after reading everyone's replies to my comment, I am going to break this habit again. But next time I have a day where I am tired, look for an alternative source of energy which will more than likely be a nap or walk a dog. So it's true then, people can live without coffee and it's not a legend. I cannot live a day without it. Do you sleep? I do about a half gallon of tea cafe day. Okay, constantly checking my phone. Same like right now. Well, did you know that average person checks their phone about 58 times a day? Every once in a while, it's good to let your phone feel the sweet neglect of being ignored. Your productivity might just throw you a thank you party. I recently put a screen time limit on Reddit and TikTok, 30 minutes per app per day. I found that I wasn't actually enjoying it. I was just mindlessly scrolling and it was taking up way too much time out of my day that I would rather spend on other things. Procrastinate until I feel like I'm going to get fired, then somehow pull it off, get praised, then vow never to do it again. Then I do it again. Aren't we all devs the same? Yeah, bound by code, united in caffeine, and occasionally puzzled by an error that somehow fixes itself. I define a variable and take a much deserved break. Well, he knows how to celebrate the small victories. Taking short breaks can actually improve productivity and creativity. So in a way, his break is not just deserved, it's scientifically endorsed. Not trying to be creep or but when I get stuck on a particularly perplexed logic problem, I have a quick, oh my goodness, and it clears my mind almost instantaneously. So Matthew was right. Gotta pump those numbers up. I have been using a D-Adario hand exerciser, which has helped with the visualization of strangling and manually dismembering those few co-workers to which I will never get along. What is... D-Adario hand exerciser. Oh, all right, this one. Our whole team has a little toy figurine things we keep on our desks that scream when you press down on it. I broke the first one.
I broke the first run. Hard <laughs> right. I sing jingles uh, for different situations I encounter at work. When the PM requests for the last minute change. When the code don't work. When the code does work after a long time of trying. When I feel so done after a long sprint meeting. Same issue here except British accent. Lol. I do the same but with the Russian accent. I use a Russian accent. A Russian accent too. I sigh like a lot. I didn't even notice until recently a few colleagues sitting near me randomly mentioned it during a lunch break. Hello fellow sigher. I need silence. I can't listen to music whilst working. Seriously, I am the exact opposite. I can't get anything done unless I have music blaring. Typically it is pop or death metal. For me, when I'm casually coding, need to have some music on. But when I'm stuck at a problem, I turn it off to concentrate. Okay, in my case, just the music without lyrics. Mostly trance. But have you seen that music meme, music with bells? Let me get that. Yes, this one. God love bells. Music, music with bells. Yeah, try music with bells while coding. Not even something like binaural beats. I'm essentially pure caffeine at this point. It is my spice, something that helps me navigate the universe. I wouldn't call it insane, but I do a lot of staring into my fish and shrimp tank while I'm trying to mentally prepare a map out a new something. Sometimes there is a call for the void to clean the tank while I do it and then time suddenly disappears and it's an hour later and I have 53 new team messages in an hour. Every time you read a team message, you get four more. Oh my goodness. Developer's life. It's a German accent for me. I just talk to myself as I am explaining things. I would say it because of my job though. I'm used to screen sharing and talking students through code. So I do that when I'm off work as well. With strategic placement of my camera, I can and will go Monday to Friday, never putting on pants. It's gotten to the point that I struggle to code while dressed. Business on top, pajama party on the bottom. Yeah, it feels like your legs have declared independence, right? Freedom. Did you know that the concept of dress for success is actually being challenged by studies showing that comfort can significantly boost productivity and creativity? I find talking to myself very normal, though the accent is a nice touch. Oh. I still use Dreamweaver. Please stop. <laughs> Never. I like it for design and layout work and managing site files. It is still good for that. Everything else I use VS Code. And one person asks, and jQuery? Maybe it's not just about nostalgia. It's about appreciating the craftsmanship that stood the test of time. Yeah. Every tool, no matter how vintage, can create wonders in the hands of a master. What do you think? Just meowing everybody near me, who is usually my cat or my GF, I work in remote. Waste hours on Reddit and Twitter and then go super speed mode and get my day's work finished in like two hours of frantic coding. I drink enough coffee to fuel a rocket launch. Lip biting, lip chewing. If I'm having trouble focusing, I listen to the same song on repeat because it tricks my brain into thinking that I'm focusing. Nice trick. Can't be just any song. It's gotta have a full sound and outro needs to be similar to the intro. I chat sarcastically and in a bit of mocking tone, sometimes when ChatGPT Copilot answers me in a stupid way. Do I really need to be polite with my prompts just because it's overly polite even when it is stupid? Really? Okay. We'll go with this then. Just a tiny thought that popped up in my mind though. I know it might be silly, but in what way has this anything to do with the with my original question? You're funny. This squirrels assure me all my habits are perfectly sane. Thank you. Celebrating when it works while isn't it death metal. I talk to my cacti and tell my computer to mind its own business. <laughs> if I can't figure out something, I create new shortcuts on my keyboard computer. It's so bad. Instead of working, I'll come up with some new quick way to do something. And now with ChatGPT, I write a lot more quick aliases functions. Like the other day, I made a git commit function that is like this. See, some work done. No quotes needed. Saves me like 10 minutes. 
every time I write a new commit. Here's the function that does that. Talking to myself, touching my hair all the time. Well, it might be a way to connect with your thoughts and ideas. I visit Reddit. Someone should start a live coding with Strange Accents YouTube channel. Do this instead. Rubber duck debugging? What is rubber duck debugging? Rubber duck debugging. In software engineering, rubber duck debugging or rubber ducking is a method of debugging code by articulating a problem in spoken or written natural language. The name is a reference to a story in the book, The Pragmatic Programmer, in which a programmer would carry around a rubber duck and debug their code by forcing themselves to explain it line by line to the duck. Many other terms exist for this technique, often involving different usually inanimate objects or pets such as a dog or a cat. Teddy bears are also widely used. Wow. I tried to explain why my code isn't working to a rubber duck that sits on my desk judging me all day. Lol, well, yeah, I talk to myself in a weird accent sometimes too, but usually only if I'm in a good mood. Talking to rubber ducks. Are rubber ducks allowed in offices? I tend to move a lot. I guess this is this is good for health. I have restless leg syndrome and it gets a bit crazy at times. Not sure I could ever go back to working alongside other people now. Listening to my one specific podcast on repeat. Okay, that was interesting. What was interesting of them all? What habits do you have while working? If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to receive updates and I will see you in the next one.